Hello and welcome to Wilderness Days. What we will show you now far exceeds the boundaries of real life drama. It involves heroic struggle by a group of 54 trackers to stay alive at a height of 19,500 feet. We have with us the actual footage of the happenings as they happened in the higher reaches of Himalayas. This is the tale of a Himalayan expedition gone horribly out of hand. Of a deadly battle with nature fought at a height of 19,500 feet. Of six lives lost in a matter of 36 hours and about which so little is known. Let us take you back in time to this high altitude battle zone. Through the actual footage of the expedition, this exclusive footage captured by India's ace nature photographer Anup Shah chronicles the largely one-sided fight for survival, where 54 trekkers faced the unrelenting fury of the mighty Himalayas. Only 48 of them came out of it alive. This is the story of their smiles and tears, of their rising and dashing hopes, of their sinking spirits at seeing their friends die right in front of them and not being able to offer any assistance. For such can be the terror unleashed by the beautiful but unrelenting higher reaches of the Himalayas if at all you find yourself in a bad spot at a bad time. Anup Shah, who led the team of six Indian trekkers to the high altitude Kalindi Kal Pass in Garhwal Himalayas, found himself in exactly such a spot. Also accompanying Shah on the Kalindikal trek was Dr. Shikhar Patak, recipient of the Padma Shri Award and a renowned historian of Uttarakhand. On September 13, 2008, when the group of six started the trek, they were enthused by the balmy weather and breathtaking vistas of the upper Himalayas. If at all there was heaven on earth, this was it. Recalled Dr. Bata with a smile. We started from here, so it was very clear that the weather is good. Everybody was in good health, you know, good spirits. <clears throat> Everybody was acclimatized, you know. Our guide, our porters, and we three. We were only three. On day three of the trek, Anoop and company came across a rather large group of 36 Austrian trekkers and their 12 porters and guides. There was still no inkling in anybody's mind as what actually lay ahead for them. This was a time to relax and soak in the beauty around you. Making yourself comfortable on a little rock or breaking into joyous songs and of course clicking pictures for the loved ones at home. But little did the trekkers know that the same picturesque Himalaya they were intent on capturing for happy memories was about to hug them in a deathly embrace. The first inkling came on September 17 with a freak snowfall. That's what everybody thought it to be, an unseasonal phenomenon which would pass away in hours. During the next 24 hours, however, things started getting worse. 
पहले जो स्नो फ्लेक्स मैंने देखी वो हम कालिंदी बेस पे थे तो मैंने कहा अनुपदा तो बर्फ़ पड़ रही है तो इन्होंने कहा अच्छा साइन है स्नोफॉल होगा सब कुछ क्लियर हो जाएगा मौसम क्लियर हो जाएगा मौसम क्लियर हो जाएगा और उसके बाद जब चले हैं और अब मुझे उसको रिपीट करने से कोई फ़ायदा नहीं है तो जब हम पहुँचे हैं उस पहला मुझे इंडिकेशन वहाँ पर मिला जब अरवा नदी में मैंने एक संदूक हमारे किसी पोर्टर का था वो डिसबैलेंस हुआ और वो संदूक उसका गिर के लुढ़कता हुआ नदी में बहता हुआ मैंने देखा मैंने कहा ये क्या हो रहा है मैंने कहा कुछ गड़बड़ होने वाली है आगे तो लगने लग गया था मुझे कि हम फंसने वाले हैं कहीं कुछ अचानक देखा कहीं रुकसैक फेंक के चले गए पोर्टर तो ये सारे इंडिकेशन में समझ रहा था कि कुछ अब ये चीज़ें ठीक नहीं हैं वी विल टेक अ स्मॉल ब्रेक हेयर बट प्लीज स्टे ट्यून्ड दिस रियल लाइफ ड्रामा हैज स्टिल नॉट एंडेड For more than 20 years now, Raheja Developers has been on the forefront of real estate and infrastructure development in the national capital region. The company's name has become synonymous with quality and timely execution of projects. One of the fastest growing companies in the realty sector in India, Raheja Developers has achieved growth rate of over 300% during past 3 years. We believe life deserves only the best and we take every effort in delivering it. From the best developer worldwide and India's best developer 2011 in association with Arabtech, the largest construction company from the Middle East. and a matra india's best spa brand comes one of the tallest buildings in india raheja rivanta the city of gods the ultimate lifestyle destination in gurgaon rivanta boasts of the highest and largest sky bridge in india overlooking the aravallis with features like an infinity pool and a fine dining restaurant the sky bridge is your party place in the sky from cozy 1200 square feet condos to lavish 6000 square feet penthouses rivanta offers the option of being close to the greens welcome home to raheja rivanta the city of gods at first slowly then with a brute force by the time the trekkers came to terms with the fast deteriorating situation two members of the austrian group had died of cold the songs were quickly forgotten and eslas hurriedly pushed into backpacks panic had set in completely aisa trek hoga nahi socha tha maine kyunki isme aap ना वहाँ ग्रीनरी है ना ग्रास लाइन है ना कुछ है सिर्फ मोरेन और ग्लेशियर के ऊपर से हम चलते हैं और वो भी क्रैक्ड टोटल जो रास्ता है रास्ता होता ही नहीं है क्योंकि वो ऐसा टेरेन इतना अनस्टेबल है जियोलॉजिकली कि जो सब कुछ बदलता रहता है टेरेन तो, भी बदल जाता है हाँ मतलब टेरेन में इतनी उथल पुथल है कि आपका कोई ऐसा नहीं कि कोई लीक बनी है कोई ट्रेल बनी है वो बनती है बिगड़ती है बनती है बिगड़ती है तो जो एक्सपीरियंस आपका जो गाइड है वही बता सकता है कि हमें कहां से निकलना है द टू ग्रुप्स आल्सो डिसाइडेड टू स्टिक टुगेदर टिल द रेस्ट ऑफ द जर्नी नाउ बिगिंस द बैटल फॉर सर्वाइवल एंड देन एज द ट्रैकर्स स्टार्टेड नेगोशिएटिंग द राज पुलाव रिज एट अ हाइट ऑफ 19000 प्लस फीट there came what every climber dreads the most white out a nightmare come true white out is a typical high altitude phenomenon when the sheer whiteness of snow brings down the visibility to less than 1 feet holding on to a rope for dear life the group moved gingerly in the white out one full step by the man in the front and the entire lot could come hurtling down an unseen crevice not an unknown occurrence at these treacherous heights 
it took the trekkers five hours to cover a distance of half a kilometer. But by then, another member of the Austrian group had died. जब हम 49 लोगों का ग्रुप चल रहा था पूरे स्नो के बीच और बहुत मुश्किल से हमें कदम बढ़ाने क्योंकि एक तो आप लगाइए कि एक सीधी लाइन में अगर 49 लोग चल रहे हैं और वो भी स्नो में तो आपकी स्टेपिंग कितनी स्लो होगी It would be pertinent here to draw a parallel with the famous 1996 mishap at Mount Everest which claimed the lives of eight climbers. World-class mountaineers like Rob Hall and Scott Fisher were among those who died on the morning of May 11. Anatoly Bukriv, often referred to as Tiger Woods of high-altitude mountaineering, somehow survived the ordeal. Only to perish in an avalanche a year later near the south face of Annapurna. Joan Crocker described the tragedy in gripping details in his international bestseller Into Thin Air. But while the Everest mishap is known to the world, the Kalindikal tragedy is yet to be told. There are interesting commonalities in the two tragedies, at Everest and at Kalindikal. It now appears that neither of the groups had a proper plan B in place. For one, the communication equipment they carried was not up to the mark. A deadly error at these heights. If only the phone was working 24 hours before, at least three lives could have been saved. Anoop Shah remembers vividly the crossing of this river. The trekkers, drenched to the bones, had neither dry clothes nor the energy for a change. The river took its toll. Hemraj, a member of Anoop Shah's group, collapsed and died soon after crossing it. On September 18, Anoop Shah's group came across an overhanging rock. Here they spend what turned out to be the longest night of their lives. I said, exercise, chillao, maro, pito, kuch karo. So we reached the camp se nikal. सब यहीं रहेंगे तो सब लोग हम ये कर रहे थे ये कहने लगे मेरे से कुछ नहीं होता है मैं आई एम सिंकिंग या कुछ इस तरह का वर्ड किया तो ये प्रदीप को जोश आए इनको जोश दिलाने लगे कभी मसाज करने लगे कभी ये और क्यों वो शाह रिकॉल्स दैट इट वाज हियर दे मैनेज टू कनेक्ट देयर सैटेलाइट फोन विद एन आईटीबीपी कैंप बट to no avail. Owing to bad weather, the ITBP could not send a rescue team. Huddled together beneath the rock, the group forced themselves to remain awake throughout the night. For sleep in such conditions could invite hypothermia, an affliction which usually leads to death. ब्रेन भी जैसे ठंड में और उसमें ब्रेन भी काम करने डिसीजन में वो हो जाता है तो मौत जो हमने देखा किसी सड़ में करके एक दफे ये इनका पैर फिसला तो थोड़ा सा वो वैसा पोर्शन था तो स्नो के ऊपर ये बिल्कुल चारों खाने चित हुए तो मन में ये लगा बस आज सब का अंत हो गया अब एक के लिए हम रुकेंगे और ठंड से सब the group found that two more of their members had died, Nar Bahadur and Nitish. We have a lot of 
यात्रा पूरी करने में हम हम लोग कामयाब हुए और उन तीन साथियों की जान को नहीं बचा सके Finally at 10 a.m. on September 19 the ITBP rescue team arrived on the scene the trekkers were taken to a shelter some 4 kilometers away where several of them were given urgent treatment the austrian team in particular seemed more relieved the members were profusely thankful to the ITBP to samjho ek kisam se एक नए मतलब एक जिंदगी का इतने ऐसा एक्सपीरियंस रहा और एक किस्म से नई जिंदगी कहीं भी कुछ हो सकता था लेकिन हम लोगों ने हिम्मत नहीं खोई और उसी की बदौलत जिंदगी में कई बार हम दुखी होते हैं और ये लगता है मतलब सुसाइडल मतलब थॉट्स भी आते हैं मर जाएंगे लेकिन मौत जब करीब से नजर आती है मैंने पहली बार महसूस किया जब मुझे लगा कि मैं मर जाऊंगा कल सुबह मैं नहीं होऊंगा तो वो मैंने जिंदगी में पहली बार ये फील किया गुस्से में कह देते हैं हम कि मर जाएंगे ये हो जाएगा और कभी इमेजिन नहीं कर पाते थे कि मरेंगे तो कैसी फीलिंग होगी तो एकदम बहुत ही डिप्रेसिंग और अजीब सा मुझे लगा कि ये क्या हो रहा है The Kalendi Kal trek may or may not hold a model for the adventure sports enthusiast. But one thing is for sure. In the end, the unforgiving Himalayas will always have an upper hand in any situation. And will keep extracting human toll for the pleasure and happiness they provide. Well that was a tragedy in the Himalayas but life is not always about tragedies we will take a small break here and then show you how a baby leopard managed to overcome tragedies in her life from the best developer worldwide and India's best developer 2011 in association with Arab Tech the largest construction company from the Middle East and Amatra India's best spa brand comes one of the tallest buildings in India Rahe Jaundri Vanta the city of gods the ultimate lifestyle destination in Gurgaon Rivanta boasts of the highest and largest sky bridge in India overlooking the Aravallis with features like an infinity pool and a fine dining restaurant the sky bridge is your party place in the sky from cozy 1200 square feet condos to lavish 6000 square feet penthouses Rivanta offers the option of being close to the greens welcome home to Rahe Jal Rivanta the city of god Last month we had introduced a cute little baby leopard to you at the time the cub which had been abandoned by its mother was being reared by the forest officials of Nasik in Maharashtra we are happy to report that the cub is growing up fine and has found a new home the son of legendary baba amte is taking care of the cub let's see how she is doing We first showed you this leopard cub 2 months ago. Since then, two things have happened to this motherless bundle of joy. It has got a new lease of life and it has got a name, Renu. Looking at Renu, one cannot help but feel that she must be the happiest leopard on earth, with not a care in the world. But things did not always proceed this smoothly for Renu. On May 11, 2011, when the residents of Chas village near Nasik in Maharashtra discovered this leopard cub in their fields, she was badly bruised and battling for life. A forest department team took care of her for about a month but her condition continued to remain unstable. Fortunately for the cub it got a protector in Dr Prakash Amte 
recipient of the prestigious Raman Magsaysay Award and son of legendary Baba Amte. Dr. Prakash Amte has set up an animal rescue center at a village a few hours drive from Nagpur. And here, he has been taking personal care of the leopard, which he named Renu. Actually, this is the second cup from Nashik. Uh, a lot of conflicts in that particular area. And many have leopard have entered Nashik city also. So now this baby, again three babies they have found out. In, in a field probably. So you know the story before yeah. that. So, so they wanted to send them back to the mother. So they put them in a temporary cage in that particular place. The mother came and they rescued the two and the third one got trapped. Had a little bit of injury on the leg. And then they again tried next day, the mother never came. So there were a lot of uh, phone calls and correspondence from the forest department that you should take it. Uh, since you have a lot of experience of bringing up the animals. So finally the government of Maharashtra gave us a permission and my son brought this. Uh, she was about two months old. Thanks to the efforts of Dr. Ramte and his wife Mandakini. As of now, Renu's recovery at the rescue center has been spectacular. We are now wrapping up this edition of Wilderness Days. Next week, we will focus on a contentious issue which still threatens Indian wildlife in a big, big way. We will also take you to Valley of Flowers, arguably one of the most beautiful spots on earth.